Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for our Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today is Sunday the 25th and I had a nice easy uh, run today. It was going to be a 7 miler and I had to do it and they were calling for a 12.59 pace. I ended up rocking the thing out at a dead flat 11 pace overall average. Worked out really good. I got to look at the actual numbers. The last, after I clicked off my 7 miles, I was in that weird range being too far from home to walk all the way, but too close to home, or too, yeah, too close to home to want to run it also. So I want to get some walking in. So I went ahead and ran like the last two blocks. Kind of opened it up and sprinted. I got down into the high fives, I think, as well. I saw my watch say. I'll have to actually look the numbers on the Garmin website and see exactly where I'm at, but it felt pretty good. So I was definitely enjoying it. I had more speed in me, but it was dark out. The road I was on wasn't the most perfectly. It was kind of a little bit of downhill, but a lot of the kind of cracks and crevices in it and little pothole type things. I didn't really feel like running absolutely as hard and flat as I could because I took that hell of a spill with my dog a few air, I don't know what, five days ago, something like that, and definitely still kind of healing up from that stuff. My knees kind of give me a little bit of a problem there and that, but overall not too bad. I did have the wonderful training of four cigars today before my run. Went to a tumble, hang out with all buddies and stuff, had a good time up there, and today I was also going to take the dog, I decided not to take the dog out. He was running, a couple days ago we ran around Des Moines at the Gray's Lake and that, he got in a, quite a bit of a run there. I think it was seven miles. Then yesterday we did, I think it was four and a half miles. And it's all he did. I had seven to do also. And then he was whooped out at four and a half. So I brought him home, finished out my seven. But today I decided not to run him at all. I was going to give him the whole day off. He hung out with the other dogs my buddy has. Played with them, kind of had a good time. Got some exercise. Got a lot of education up there. Got to play with their cats, which was kind of funny because the cats wanted to attack him. He wanted to play with the cats. It was kind of a funny-ass deal, but... Decided not to run with him at all, so I took off this evening, went, did my run. I was gone for an hour and 18 minutes, something like that I think it was. Really worked out good. And this little guy down here, as you can see in there, he's just, he's napping right now. So he slept most of the day, kind of just chilling out, having a good, good old time. Got home to drop him off before I run. He was all hyper and decided to leave him out in the backyard. And he was really having anxiety um, issues when I got back from that. So definitely um, not the best thing to do, I guess, with a, ban a dog that has abandonment issues is leave him outside. Why you go running, but he was just too hyper being in the house here by himself. And I didn't want to run him because he needs a, a lot more resting time than I do in the process. He's still new to running. I've been at it since January, so it's a whole different world there. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I felt good tonight. It was super humid out. It was kind of hot, kind of cooled down. It wasn't like it was in the daytime. But I'd say it's probably still in like the, let's see, real high 70s, probably low 80s. And the humidity is up in the 80% range, it feels like. I was like sweating literally within a half a block i just just like i was running through a fog it was really bad so i also did have one of the fun experiences that i see animals off and on cross my path coons possums all kinds of random things deer all kinds of stuff like that and i saw what looked like a cat up ahead of me and i kind of hollered a little bit i like to clap my hands because it's a weird sound it kind of distracts me and I run off and i noticed it did like a really weird little run it's a run across the street and i was like oh shit i know that run and it was a young skunk thank god it did not spray I realized what it was, I flipped my headlight off to the red light real quick, so animals can't see red spectrum light. Flipped my headlamp over to the red light, and I kind of slowed down and kind of gave it, I went way off the side, gave it a real wide berth. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with skunks or not, I've been around them a lot my whole life, growing up in the country. And the way they run, it's more of like a waddle type thing, it almost looks like a penguin on all fours, it's a really funky little way they run. And if you know a skunk's run, you spot it instantly. And I was like, oh shit, I almost turned around and ran the opposite direction. I was able to kind of slow down and get off the side of the road there. Let him go in the yard, and then there was a tiny little part of me wanted to like scream or like yell or something to make the skunk spray, just kind of piss off the neighbors. But I realized I'd probably get coated in that in that smell too, and I was only not even two miles into my run yet. I still had five to do after that. I did not want to do it smelling like skunk. So definitely my assholeness there and my honoriness um, got beat out by my common sense there. So definitely glad I think I made the right decision. Also super glad I did not take my dog with me today because I'm not sure what he would have done. Him barking would probably definitely send that skunk into a attack mode or defense mode, I think it's being attacked, and it would have sprayed for sure. So definitely a good thing. I'm really glad he was down there at home, not out there on the road with me. So anyway, that's all I got for now. If you guys have any questions, concern, comment, please leave them below. Feel free to rate and subscribe also to me to keep updated on the things. So also I made a dumb decision. Um, earlier today I signed up to be the Dunkin Donuts coffee cup at the Marine Corps Marathon out in DC which is exactly seven days after my marathon in Des Moines so one of the things I'm liking about the idea I'm not sure I want to run a marathon seven days later but I think I can handle it and with it being the cup I'm not gonna be after a fast time 
not going to be shooting for some kind of crazy gold, nothing like that. It's one of those deals I'm going to be able to go out there, run, stop, take pictures of the people, kind of have a good time, laugh and joke and whatever. So definitely looking forward to that if that possibility comes up. Not necessarily looking forward to the run as much. I'm just looking forward to having a great time wearing a coffee cup outfit. So I won't get a lot of photos of my buddy now on the trail, but he'll understand. He actually was kind of wanting to talk me into it, and his dad's like, he'll never do it. My buddy's like, all you got to do is just call him a pussy if he doesn't, and then he would do it. So all he has to do to get me to do something is call me a pussy, and I'll probably do it. And all I got to do to get him to do a run or a race is tell him there's a free t-shirt involved. So free t-shirt for him, he's in free uh, not looking like a pussy I'm in so we both know each other's triggers and it makes us out to be horrible friends to each other so find yourself a running partner like that that'll goat you into doing dumb things and you'll never regret it so anyway have yourself a safe and wonderful day lace up your shoes hit the door and get your run on